Previously on Life is Strange. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. Of what? Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me, dealing to students. Yikes. Someone who looks like you. I did do something. Moses, but you didn't do that. We were all together. I took Sophie's camera. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Oh? Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Uh-oh. Oh, God, what is it? Stop, don't do this. What is it? Oh, they're so dramatic. What is this? I need to know. Sorry, spin, spin. <laughs> We're gonna be on our best behavior. <laughs> no, nothing is fine. It's fine. Our. Okay, so remember the last time we saw each other. Max looked like she was spinning the block, right? Oh, how is it already morning? This is loud enough, y'all. This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Cause what's up with that picture? Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. To be honest, I just really don't think there's any evidence that's going to put this little storyline together. I don't... No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Girl, I don't know. I... Okay, Lucas's book. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly... Restraining Order Lucas said Sophie once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. That's but right. But that Lucas was scared of Sophie, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. That's right. We did find out that uh, the Professor Lucas has a restraining order out on Sophie. But we haven't looked at the flash drive yet. But this is the one that Gwen was trying Hold to burn. On. She's looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? That didn't show us anything. None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? You might as well let that burn. What did that show us? Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Sophie. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. And my question too Maybe is who took that picture? if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Max has a gun pointed at you and you took a picture? None of this makes sense. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there were whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. <laughs> a selfie? Before Safi died, 
Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. All of this has holes. Why on earth did Gwen cancel Safi's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? I'm gonna make sure they know that you killed me. <laughs> See, even Cole Phelps with L.A. Noir, we would have had this figured out. All of this? Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. Refill your I coffee swear. at this point, because I don't, girl, I don't know. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. You know what's interesting, though? Actually, I don't know. I was gonna say, I saw that there was like the little moon symbol. No I wonder much I if I need to you. switch dimensions. He refused to make sense. Moses? Okay, okay. guess not. <laughs> I guess not. I miss that L.A. Noir music. Where is my hint? Hello, Miss Caulfield. <gasps> oh, fuck. Can I come in? Detective? The photo. If he sees that. I have some questions for you. Uh, get out? That's crazy. What do you want to know? Uh, damn, do you have a, what about a good old warrant or something? You can't just barge into my good home. But if I say get out, that looks hella suspicious, I feel like, right? What do you want to know? What, what do you, what do you? Of course, I. That's what I want to know. I can answer your questions snitch? right here. I knew you'd be a valuable resource. Oh, you think I'm one of you? Oh my God, hide. Max, do something. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just hide the picture. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Oh God. Put the picture under the bananas. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Not you bringing up old shit. That's crazy. Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike. Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. They might be. They might be. A small town with a curious number of murders. Everybody died. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed. Murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? And I hate to agree with the cops. <laughs> we said this in episode one, y'all. I, I hate to be on his side, however. I fear he's not wrong. That's messed up. I guess I'm just unlucky. I fear he's not wrong. He's kind of cooking. Okay, that's messed up. Guess I'm just unlucky. Um, guess I'm just unlucky. Sounds crazy. Uh, yeah, I, it's messed up. I hate. Go fuck responses. yourself. We're going to jail tonight. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. We're going to jail. Yep. Ooh, there it yep, is. Yep, yep, we're going to jail. That's the nerve. We're going to jail. I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. At what point, if the option says that's messed up, where? why is that where you take it? Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. It's too late, Max. We're cooked. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? Oh my god. <laughs> Why would I know what happened? What do you mean? I I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. Damn, that's wild. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. Girl, hide this the photo. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. Max. None of the it. evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. He's getting so Somehow, close. Somehow, all this death 
leads to you. That's not true. It is. <laughs> Hide the photo! <laughs> That's not suspicious. <laughs> You're joking. You're joking, Max. You're you're joking. Do you want to be arrested? Why did he not? Okay. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? I can't with you, Max. I really can't. I'm sick of this. None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Is that still an option? Maybe you could tap back into those powers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe I still could. Right. Oh, love to see it. You don't have that dog in you? Come on, it's in there. Max said, I understand it now. <laughs> oh, her nosebleed is going to be disgusting. This is what I'm talking about. Let's get some answers here. Oh, I hate these. Okay, I'm gonna find it, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> what happened to the music? <laughs> that was gonna be some friendly music. So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. What? Feels good. Final. Sophie. What? Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. This is the same thing that happened with Chloe. Remember when we tried to save Chloe's life in the first one? And then the storm started brewing. In my mind, this means I think Max actually shot her. I don't know why that makes sense, but I think this is a canon event. Like, Safi has to die, so there's no hurricane. I think Max is the drama. Yeah. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Who is Maya? Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <laughs> Angela? Stop stalling, Max. What do you mean stop stalling? What do you want? I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. I'm confusion. Nothing is, nothing is clicking in my head. I'm so confused. What? Nasty. I, what? Life is no. strange. No, life is confusing. No, that wasn't enough time. You're gonna go back in? Uh, uh, Max, your nose can't take it. Come on. Ah. Uh, if I can just. Fuck. Max, maybe that's not you anymore, babes. That's okay. That's all right. Moses. You were right. 
I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him everything. Last time we saw Moses, he said, stay the F away from me. Very clearly. <laughs> Moses said, do not talk to me. Do not speak to me. We don't have anything else to discuss. I'm so confused. I mean, to be fair, I would cut Max off too. <laughs> I owe you an I owe you an explanation or as much of one as I have. Meet me at the Overlook. Really, Max? There? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I do. I know it doesn't make sense. I'll do my best. Please. Fine. Thank you. Yeah, this does look crazy. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. Oh my God! What if he's wearing a wire? <laughs> This is wild. I just don't know. I just don't know. Why would Max shoot her, though? If I was Moses, I'd be nervous, too, because what do you mean you want to meet me where, uh, what's her name? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. And still, what is up with this little flowery patch? If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. Let's check our text messages real quick, because Yasmin's blowing up my phone. Maxine, I reached out to Detective Alderman this morning for an update, and he sounded very much addled. He said he spoke to you. What did you say to him? Please tell me you didn't say anything to jeopardize this case. Whoa. Whoa, Yasmin. Whoa. That's just who he is. I don't, I, I don't know what his problem is. He thinks he's seeing telescopes moving around, built together, not built. Um, you're probably right. He is a little intense. I just want answers, and he's my only hope right now. It's too much. It's too much. Let's have a seat. I'm so excited for all of this story to come together for me. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, fuck away from me. What if he doesn't come? I mean, would y'all come if you were blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me. I don't think I would. Do something like that? Or have some people with you. He's probably not coming. Damn, leave? Uh oh. Oh. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. That's smart, Moses. I deserved yeah. that. I can't you wanted that. to talk. So talk. Oh. Tell me the truth. <laughs> Moses said, hey. <laughs> Tell me why you did it. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. These choices suck. I don't know why. I, I don't. You were right. I shot Sophie. That's insane. But I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. I know. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. We probably do have to These flowers. our powers like we did with Chloe. What are the odds they bloom? In the middle of winter, exactly in the shape of Sophie's body. Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. Oh. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me poof disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? Yes. It's not a fantasy world. Yes. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them. I don't. And here too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone. I could tell you what it was when I come back. And then 
You believe me? Give me a start. Okay. Okay, deal. I mean, that still doesn't explain. All right. It doesn't There's explain a chance the fact why Moses you saw won't her. believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Okay, no problem. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Okay, there he is. Found you. Okay, he, he, okay. He's having the time. All right, I'm on my way back. <laughs> okay, Moses, we caught you. What did I do when you were away? <laughs> <laughs> and then you said psychic storm damn multiple words psychic storm machine angel psychic storm okay yes machine angel psychic storm mm-hmm um yep <laughs> that's what I did okay he wow. likes this again that's good I mean <laughs> yeah he's hard near as I can tell Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to. Uh oh. You okay? So Sophie's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's. Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. She kind of is. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? I mean, she doesn't look... She don't look too sad. She has a restraint where they're out on her, though. Okay. Yeah, there is that. How did you... I picked it up off the ground outside the observatory. Oh. <laughs> can you give that to her? Tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need her help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I Yeah, kept... we given that backstory. Rewind time. Just <laughs> raise my hand and what was I say? undo okay. everything that what had just say? been done. All right. Okay. <laughs> and if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Mm -hmm. I'm fresh out of the juice. I, it never worked how I'd hoped. Time travel couldn't fix anything. To be honest, I kind of like that because it, at the end of the day, it couldn't fix anything. Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? Hmm. How dare you bring logic to my pity party? This is a therapy session. Mm. The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, Message. But <laughs> there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. That I can't explain. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning, I tried rewinding into that photo felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Safi mentioned Maya, and oh god, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. Hmm. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, 
These two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. This is the detective. Oh, shit. What the heck? Okay. First look at the crime scene. Does Moses see that? Is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. What? I have to call a shot prematurely. But if this isn't suicide. I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, oh! friend of the deceased, being the perp. Why is Moses in it? I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. Oh. The Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. So now it's the... Time isn't supposed to act this way. What? It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. What? This is too much. This is too much. The returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? We can't... Right, is he gonna see himself? Girl, what? You're not making sense, bro. I don't know. You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Okay, that feels... Okay. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine. I want him to turn this corner and, and I'm see his past self. To... Right, 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 right. Look at, look at yourself, right. Right, look at yourself. Right, uh-huh. Right, look at yourself. Thank you. Right, right. And I say we run. <laughs> oh, this is beyond me. Do they see each other? If we save him and he turns our back, if he turns his back on us, I'm coming for y'all directly. I'm coming for y'all directly. No, let's come on. Yeah, no, let's, yeah, let's save him. This action will have consequences. Oh. Maybe he can't be saved. You have to let go. No. We try. We try. So it didn't matter. So all all that all that discussion for what? At the end of the day, we tried. We did all we could do. It was canon. What can we do? So what consequence? <laughs> At least he'll remember it wherever he goes. 
What does that mean? I could have saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. What? No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. What? Yeah, I also thought Moses was about to be out there. Gray hair? Oh Moses, my God. Your hair. Oh my God. We're messing with I the space you. time continue. Oh There's my God. It's a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died. Maybe now most of stress. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. Gwen. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Child Gwen is, uh... Mm. Gotta go talk to Gwen. They fire Gwen or put her on uh, probation or something. Why is why is Moses's hair turning gray? Are we messing with like? Uh, I don't even know. I'm still shaking. We're messing with everything. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. This also makes me really nervous because... Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Because if the detective is gone, what happens now for Sophie's case? There's no detective, there's no case. So how is Yasmin gonna feel about that? Gwen, let me talk to you. I'm glad you're uh, back at work. Was she back? Was she suspended in the dead world Is or the real world? Is that Sophie's book? The hey, case is Gwen. Cold. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Okay. Actually, I need <laughs> to talk right. to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is I read those emails. why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? That's fine. So I've been told. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. Well, let's talk about it, Gwen. What do you want to know? Why did you do this to Safi? How did you convince the publisher? I don't think how you convince the publisher is really the question to ask. I think it's more so why do this to Safi, right? That let's focus in on that. Why did you do that to Safi? You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. You got the deal and then killed it. How did you convince the publisher? Why? I, I still don't understand, like, why? Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. How did you convince the publisher? It's not adding up, So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. What does that mean? Which was true. Incendiary? It would have harmed a lot of people. Harmful? Safi included. What? What? Gwen, come on! Out with it! I'm asking 50 questions! Safi's book was incendiary? All these secrets! How? What was it about? 
You really don't have an off switch, do you? Well, if you would just answer. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? I don't, I don't know who Maya is. Maya? Time to pay attention. Safi never mentioned her. Maya Okada? <laughs> Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards Instant close to her chest, didn't she? Gary means something that would start a fire? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Vin Lang kid he used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then Maya took her own life. What? And that's what Safi wrote about in her book book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, Everybody died. I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. What? You know what? This actually makes sense because I feel like in the last episode when we were looking in Gwen's office, we were reading some of Safi's writings and there were like some really like heavy writings in there. And I think Safi said something along the lines of, I shouldn't be writing about her or is it crazy I'm writing about her? I think she was talking about Maya. I, I think that's what I'm putting together. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I'm still confused why Safi and Ben were hooking up. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Okay. That's... Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Oh! Not locked. I'm gonna be in there. Don't even worry about it. That's cute of you to put Shit. that away. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. That's cute. I'm gonna be in there regardless. It's fine. How do I get my hands on a copy? Child, we're about to change it from night to day up in here. Um, okay, Moses. Um, quick question. Are you able to get my text when you're in the other timeline trying to grasp the, the, grasp the extent of what you can do from a physics POV? It doesn't look like I can. No. Okay, that's a big help. I'll be in touch a little later when I've made some inroads into what happened earlier. So I was doing some a little digging into the Alderman situation. It's already weird. Apparently, neither Vermont State nor Lake Park, Lakeport PD have any record of a Detective Vincent Alderman ever? What? How can they have no record of him? They sent him. Who's he working for? <gasps> Maybe he was literally erased when when they when they touched him. I don't know. What, Loretta? You dash out of the hurry. Is Moses okay? I only asked because whatever was urgent had to be important. Has it? it Does it have anything to do with Safi's death? Silence is own is its own answer max thanks for the tip stop talking to me stop talking to me let's switch i'm so sick of loretta please stop what's all this in bed dr hunter this morning i attempted to call student resources asking them why your classes for the rest of the semester have been canceled i was told in no uncertain terms that it was none of my business Ooh. Then I tried calling the president. She didn't even pick up the phone. Then I walked up to Mr. Reyes, the custodian, and he told me he witnessed you being removed by security and that you've been suspended under suspicions of selling drugs to students. I won't insult you by asking if you're guilty. I'll just wish the best and tell you that you're the best teacher I've ever had. My student visa only lasts another semester, but if there's anything I could do or if some off chance you're ever in Bangkok, look me up. Oh, that's sad. Oh, the students are up in arms. Oh, wow. You will be a binge. Oh, Gwen's so popular. Child, so is Mr. Jefferson. Look at what happened there. <gasps> oh, that was easy. Well, gotcha. that was easy. Well, 
Okay, all the daughters we don't talk Reading about. Reading Safi's manuscript after all. Okay, right, let's get into it. <clears throat> A million miles beneath my feet, she lies still in her Sunday clothes. We killed her with our own hands? Jesus. I mean our lack of hands. I killed her with my voice. I mean my lack of voice. Maya's book was like a child or a tumor or a rising beast within her. On the first page, she wrote that she was drowning. And by the time she finished, she was drowned? Laws of physics. The drowned always surface. What isn't spoken still exists. You can chop her up and sell her for parts. But her ghost remains whole, floating there in the corner of my kitchen, giving me that familiar look. The one that says unstitch. The binding, let the pages fall out, fluttering like birds shot down. The one that says, take him for everything he's got and then some? This was the manuscript? Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. I feel like this didn't give us no answers. So they took her computer. Dang. Probably going through it right now. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Dang, took that computer like Emma off the grassy. That is terrible. Okay. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Okay, Gwyneth. Okay, now I have to flip back while I'm out here. I think there was a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Gwyneth. <laughs> also, very that Gwen didn't see me change dimensions <laughs> behind her. <laughs> I guess not. She was working hard. She was focused. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Hey, Yasmin. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. Oh. A toothache can mean a heart attack. Damn. I'm gonna... Try not that to true? think about that too hard. It's <laughs> terrible. I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. It is? That's terrible. Will Gwen be fired? See Safi today, you're in a good mood. Safi lost her book deal. Mm. I don't want to just jump into being messy, but will Gwen be fired? Let's I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Is this Jordan Peele's us? Like, are all the tethers in the other dimensions? Like, are they just doing the worst? But that still doesn't explain, like, the, the Alderman situation. I don't know. You're in a good mood. I'm sorry, I'm thinking out loud. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. Okay. The coffee is just... So, so. Okay. Okay, have you seen your daughter today? Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Okay, Sophie lost her book deal. Let's jump into that. I was Did to Sophie wait. tell you her book deal was canceled? What? No. How... How uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Mm. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Let's talk about Maya. Ooh. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. Music right now? A horrible tragedy. I think... I think mm -hmm. Sophie's book was canceled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Huh? Did Yasmin just lie to me? Huh? 
Do I call her out? She'll be pissed. But She's lying. I, I saw can her eyes. Cut straight to the point. I saw her or eyes. She's should lying I to go my along face. with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? That's a great point. And here we are again with another tough decision. Obviously, we know that Safi and Maya are besties. I kind of also feel like we should go along with it and see like what, right? Let, let me let me see where you're trying to go with it. Let, right, let's go along with it. Let's see. Because we already uh, know the truth. Of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? There's a rumor about Maya. I've heard conflicting opinions. Mm. I don't know what my heart is telling me. There's a rumor about Maya. I think. There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So she had a bad reputation. Oh. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Statement? Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? This is that tea I was looking for. Enough ancient history. Where can I find that statement? I have In a your office? Safia has been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Why me? I'm sorry, Are you but sure why me? That I'm the best person to. Yes. Do you trust me? Because she trusts you. And I trust you. Okay. I... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. I have been known to hold Thank a you, gun. Thank you, Maxine. Okay. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. Always been messy then. Because that of the... That was odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. Because at the end of the day, we still need to know why Vin knows about that cow skull going into Sophie's car windshield. Oh, this is so weird. Let's talk to Moses about it. At Oh, okay, yes. I don't know if I trust Yasmin now. He said Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. We tried to get her the help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as it was, we would have done more. Does that help? That was his statement? He's probably in the admin building. He gonna lie to our face. I know he is. Oh, girl. Hey, sport. We're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Amanda, Amanda, please. Really? Uh... Sport? Yeah. I'm trying out middle-aged white dad slang nowadays. Is it working? To be honest, after <laughs> Amanda said she just wanted to be sure. friends in the dead world, that's where my mind is at this point. What are you doing point. on campus? Yeah, why are you on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. Like, we just this don't one have time. tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I go to school I here. I work here. Work here. Yeah, no, same, no. same. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I don't trust Amanda. Sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna be the first one to say it. I don't know. That's such a weird question to me. Why is that your concern? I'm talking work business. Oh, just uh, I don't trust nobody work these stuff? Days. <laughs> Why? Just curious. I didn't realize you two hung out. What? I don't know that we hang out, but she's my boss. I Sophie's trust Moses. Mom. Maybe. We're bound to run into each other, you know? Is this about Safi? Huh? Uh, I mean, yeah, we talked about Safi. You know, you can talk to me about anything, right? You're pressing up on me a little tough, Amanda. Yeah, of course. Nah, it's weird. Maybe I'll tell you when I'm ready. It's weird. Sure thing. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Amanda knows something. See you around. I'm calling it right now. See you, Amanda. No, that was that was so weird. And Ben, I don't even want to talk to Ben. Damn, is it Christmas or what? Okay, hey Ben, I'm here. Hey Ben. 
Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. I was just talking to her. It's fine. Unless you're here for me. In which case, <sighs> I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Don't you put your two fingers up at me like that? I'm sorry. <clears throat> how did you and Yasmin meet? How long have you worked here? Let's do how long have you worked here? How long have you worked <laughs> in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. Not wept. But Kahuna needed me right away. I thought... You might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. You get to it, Max. Right, right, right. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? Oh my god. You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. Oh my god. What do you god. need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Ooh. Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. We gotta get up in that phone. No problem. Uh, let me just, I'm, I'll be right back. Don't you even worry. Oh, I can't stand him since the moment we met him. I don't have anything Why is to Yasmin say about talking any of about characters. you of all people, Finn? Diamonds in here? Diamonds in the admin building? Diamonds in the admin building. Diamonds! Maybe. I hear you. Diamonds at you? I'm down. Oh. You try to kick me out, huh? I thought you were smarter than that. <laughs> Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Oh. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Whoa. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. We are catching Please. people off guard, huh? I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Uh, Did I just southern, witness huh? a failed <laughs> crown snatching? You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? Maybe the Diamond turf? knows something. Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. Mm. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's going to be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I have the right piece of dirt, I bet I can make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? I mean, I'm not really trying to be here until the next semester. I'm trying to wrap this up this week. Um, hmm. Is he covering something for Yasmin? Let's go with it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ben gave a public statement about Maya. That's a big accusation. And I think Yasmin had something to do with it. Like Yasmin asked him to give the statement? Maybe. That's the vibe I got. Do with it what you will. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but I'm trying to be clean. <laughs> they definitely knew each other. It. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Oh. Go forth and conquer. Don't go too hard on him. No, go forth and conquer. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Let's be clear. Yeah. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. Holson living world to investigate. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. Holson if I'm going world. to listen in on this conversation, gotcha. I need to cross to the other side. Hella text messages. Okay, so last time we talked to Moses, Moses said there's no record of an alderman anywhere. 
He said, update, I thought I hit a wall in the Alderman mystery, but then I got a single ping for the name Alderman in Lakeport area. There's a bizarre report from 40 or so years ago about a widow named Mrs. Marjorie Alderman who'd be in her late 60s now. I'm still reading through it and I'll reach out once I've made sense of it. We're messing up timeline so bad. Oh, oh, oh. Can you let a man make a stale cup of coffee in peace? No. Because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. Yasmin asked you to give that statement, didn't she? That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. Nobody expects the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? Yes. After Maya died, Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give you a job as her assistant. What? Holy. Diamond, maybe because we were fucking friends? We met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and it clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> like, shut up. You wanted a performance and now you're gonna get What? I grew up without anybody. Okay. okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, yes, you promised me a stable respectable job health insurance and i took it oof and i cared about maya and it was a horrible thing to do and i've regretted it ever since <laughs> oh am i in the way i'm sorry i don't have to bring that up in the debate there's not gonna be a debate i'm dropping out of the race oh you're gonna let me be the head of a bracket i'm in the way like again that? Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. Mm -hmm. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. Everywhere I stood, it wasn't good enough. So Yasmin had been write the statement about Maya saying that Maya had mental health issues and she took her own life. There was nothing they could do because she was having mental health issues. Did Yasmin have been write that because Maya and Ben were good friends and Yasmin was trying to cover the school's ass? Is, is. <sighs> this is a tangled web we weave. Moses said, so that article about Mama Alderman, it gets wild, so bear with me. About 40 years ago, she was admitted to Lakeport County days before her due date with what she describes as complications with her pregnancy. Only, despite what she claims, not only was there no baby, there never was one. She and her late husband said they had planned to name their baby boy after his father, Vincent. It's like there's hints of who Alderman was or maybe should have been, but there's only hints. Girl, what? And I thought my powers were a burden before. Max says, so the guy that we saw earlier today shouldn't have been there at all. This is a, this is a story. This is a convoluted story. Giving Life is Strange Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Did you play 2.7? <laughs> okay, back to you. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For 
talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death. I know he tired of Max. Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. I'm trying to help myself. I'm trying to help someone. Let's not say ourselves, but let's say someone. I think. Is he going to like that? I'm trying to help someone. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. I feel like that's And that means myself. learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you wow. or anyone else. Wowzers. Wowzers. Just go with me for a second, okay? That's all I ask. All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Is he going to be honest? Ask Lucas Colmanero. Oh, brother. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. What? You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Ooh, that's tough. Those are, oof. Like, for example, if Safi suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. This is a scavenger hunt. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. Mind you, Lucas does not like us at all because he filed the restraint order against Safi. Should I say that? He does owe us a favor. I feel like this is now is the time to you owe us a favor. You owe me a favor, remember? Because of your package. Right. My uh, package? Ew, no. There's... Shit. That's in the other Ooh. <laughs> timeline. Get it together, Max. Ooh. Uh, Child, I can't. Never mind. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. Yay. I could have swore it was on this day. Yikes. This is confusing. Okay. So we're. <laughs> I said, yeah, the favor. We didn't use that. Okay. So are we just spilling tea? And now, if I go back a little bit in my mind, now I wonder because Lucas said he filed a restraint order against Safi because Safi was trying to tell his son something. I don't remember what it was, but I wonder if he was really find, filing the restraining order because Lucas didn't want his tea to get out about what really happened with Maya, which is why low-key I'm compelled to do that choice. I'm gonna do it, whatever, I'm gonna do it. What if I told you that Lucas filed a restraining order against Safi? Well, I say that Lucas is less dumb than I thought. I don't know. So was that a shiny enough info nugget or not? Oh my God, he doesn't care. Very shiny. Oh. All right. Okay. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. Oh, that's... So why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. Why would you do that? When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. Oh my god. And now I really do have to get back to work. Oh, these games. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. 